Hi guys, Natalie Elphinstone here for Illustrated Faith. Today I am talking about the printables, the free printables uh, that often get sent in the newsletter. If you signed up to the newsletter, um, you will be receiving these uh, printables on a regular basis. And if you haven't signed up to the newsletter, then I suggest that you do, if for no other reason but to get free printables. But also, of course, because it, it keeps you up to date with all of the stuff happening at Illustrated Faith. Um, if uh, the other place to go for the Illustrated Faith printables um, is in the resource section um, on the website, you'll be able to find uh, some free ones there and download them there. So what I've done, these ones here are from the last sort of three weeks worth of the newsletters. I often sort of save them up so that I can print them all off at the same time um, and like on the one sheet. And I've printed mine off today just on regular printing paper. Just, you know, it's it's really thin um, and not great quality. But I, I, for this purpose today, I'm not so fast. It's The reason I like it really thin is because I am going to pop it in my journaling Bible. And as you can see, like by the time you've done lots of entries, it's starting to get a little bit fat here. Um, so to sort of minimize that, as I said, I just print it off on the ordinary paper. So it, as, you know, not that great quality, but it serves the purpose. It's colorful and pretty. And what I often do is um, make them my own by changing them up a little bit. And you don't have to, you can certainly just print them off the way that they come. But for example, this one I've enlarged so that it's more, I'm not quite sure what the size of it is now. I just you know, um, enlarged it until it sort of fit across my page. Um, but they usually come in sort of the three by four size uh, and they are very good for not only your journaling Bibles, but if you do things like pocket page scrapbooking, uh, then you can use these uh, as cards as well. So, you know, maybe in those circumstances you want to print them on some proper cardboard or cardstock. Um, but for when I'm putting them here in my journal, uh, in my journaling Bible. I often have done some other different things with them in the past and I'm going to want to quickly flip through and show you some of the things that I have done in the past. I've put in a bunch of bookmarks where I've used the printables. Um, they're all these number one cut-ups. Anyway, don't worry about that. They're my bookmarks. Um, you can not only print them on paper but you can print them on other things. So on this occasion not sure if you can tell, but I've printed that one on vellum and it just adds this sort of translucent effect so that when they're over your Bible, you can even sort of still read the words underneath. So that's a really good trick to use, I think. Let's go to the next one. Often I've used them as inserts in my Bible um, when I've already sort of journaled the page and if I've got no more space in the column and I want to then add another um, entry, I'll often write my entry onto the printable uh, and then stick it in. And here you can see I've decorated this one with a bunch of paint as well. Uh, that's another example. What I wanted to show you about this one is that on this occasion the printable when it came um, was a bright pink or fuchsia magenta if you will color and um, I've used the magenta one somewhere else and I might find them in my travels but just to keep it a little bit different on this occasion I changed the background to blue so that it um, yeah wasn't you know the same throughout my Bible so you can do that, you can change it up, you can change the colours. Uh, this was another one of those vellum um, ones I printed on vellum and I've used that more as sort of a decorative item there. Here on this occasion, um, this printable, I you know, it came as like a 3x4 card and I've cut it up into different sections and used it in my decoration here. So if you can just make out this square and then this bit and this bit um, were all part of a card and I chopped it up. So that's another thing you can do. Here I 
um, blew it up really big, I enlarged it really big and then used it, you know, decorated it, added title um, and put some stuff in the middle, just made it, you know, just a bit pretty. I don't think, yeah, I didn't add any um, journaling on the back that time. Um, now it's not always uh, cards, like it's not always the 3x4 cards that come in the free printables. Often there's been like these uh, tabs or tags or little labels. Um, so they're really fun and I use those things a lot in my journaling bible. This was another occasion where I took the card, made it a bit bigger um, and then used it as a title. So the tag um, just said worship. And then I've added the rest of sort of a title and a bit of journaling here. Um, stuck it into my Bible with some washi tape and then journaled on the back of it. Um, because obviously you could see that on this page I really didn't have any more space left. Uh, this is uh, just another example, same sort of deal. So often, of course, I've just used it this way, but often because I know that I'll have lots of stuff to write, I've um, enlarged the printable to be quite big. Uh, at Christmas time, there was lots of different versions of printables that came out. And on these occasions, you know, at Christmas time, I was a little bit busy as we often are. And so I didn't have a lot of time to be doing um, you know, big involved entries. So the printables really came in handy there just to literally stick in my Bible um, and make it feel like, you know, I'd done an entry um, whilst I was reading, reading the word. It makes it pretty. Uh, one more example of the same sort of deal, just decorated it by adding some extra embellishment stickers on it. Oh, this one is one of my favourites. So the colours of this um, printable here were just fabulous and when I then stuck it into my Bible um, I used those colours to inspire me to finish painting and making it look like this has just kind of exploded across my page. And I think that's it, that's all the sort of examples that I've picked out to show you at the moment. Um, but so today I'm going to go ahead and do an entry. You know, I think this is also, this is a great way of doing some entries into your journaling Bible if you're too scared to go ahead and enter something straight onto the pages. Like if you're a little bit nervous about colouring or painting or even just your writing straight into the Bible pages, you can do it on a printable. And then if, for example, you don't like how it turned out, then you simply print off another one. Um, or alternatively, of course, if you are happy with how it goes, then you can put it into your Bible really easily um, and make it look um, really quite pretty. So what I'm going to do is um, just decorate it a little bit. So I'm going to decorate the front, make it sort of my own, and then write my journaling um, about a sermon um, on the back. So there's plenty of space on the back to be writing all of your notes whilst on the front I'm just going to decorate it. So first things first, I, I grabbed some stuff off my desk. Um, I had these stars cut out from a different project and I looked at this sort of grey colour that the stars were and thought it's the exact sort of same grey tone um, as the, the words. So um, I thought that would kind of match and be pretty so I'm going to stick these stars down the bottom and a couple more of them up the top like this. Um, I'm not going to be doing my entry in Psalm 139 so I've grabbed another printable, a label um, that is from a different company, not Illustrated Faith, and I'm sticking this over to cover up that Part, and I'll probably write something on there I just haven't figured out what yet <laughs> and then a little tab you know we always love our tabs don't we the illustrated faith so that one's going to stick up the top and 
So that's what I'm going to do on the front. Then on the back, I'm going to add my title for the sermon. Um, so I've got these Bella Boulevard tiny text stickers and I'm going to stick them for my title. And then I'm just going to write some journaling. So I'll probably just quickly speed through this so you don't need to watch me fiddle around with these things. All right, so that is essentially done. Um, as I said, I haven't quite still figured out what I'm gonna do on the front there, but I just wanted to show you quickly about how I'm gonna stick this in. So this is going here in the front of Two Kings. Um, I think I always use washi tape because again, it's nice and thin and because it's, it's kind of uh, removable, like you can shift it around if you stick it in a little bit incorrectly. And I think there's two main options about where you stick the printables. You either um, secure them into the middle of the Bible or you secure them over on a margin. Um, but either way, you only do one side so that you can flip it over. So I think we're going on the margin for this one. I mean, in the center. So I am putting some washi tape along the edge, putting it right into the center here, and sticking it down. And then um, to make it even more secure, you can pop a little bit on the back as well. Um, or you don't have to, you can just leave it like that and it will stick. Actually, I think I might not do it today because I'm afraid that maybe my sticky tape's gonna come over the edges of that and also on the edges of my writing. Um, so there you go. There's some ideas today about how you can use um, the printables uh, in different ways. So don't be afraid to change them to suit your purposes. You know, make them larger, change the colors, print them on different types of material. Um, and then, of course, uh, decorate them and pop them into your Bible. Um, I hope I've given you some ideas today and I'll see you again. Bye.